Hey everyone, welcome back to Triple Bogey Golf. Today, I'm excited to bring you an unboxing and first impression of Garmin's latest game changer, the Approach R50 Golf Launch Monitor and Simulator. I'll show you what comes in the box, how to set it up, and what makes this device so unique. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is just the first video in a whole series of diving deep into all the amazing features of the R50. All right, let's get into it. Here it is. And right out of the box, we've got the Approach R50 and this awesome carrying case. This is like a plastic vinyl, kind of a hard shelled case. Looks like our carrying strap is in the back. In the front here, we've got manuals and it looks like club stickers. In the box, we've got these two little cardboard pieces. This looks like the power cord. That's exactly what we've got here. So this is it. It ships inside of its own case. Um, inside the case, you've got the manuals, club stickers, and the power cord. So let's open this thing up. There you have it. It's not a small unit, but it sure is a really sharp looking unit. Looks really nice. The back we've got a slide port with power, HDMI out, and USB-C. There you have it. All right, so I've plugged in the unit. It's turned itself on. And what we've got here is the initial startup screen. Let's click English. It wants me to choose my Wi-Fi network for the first time. Connecting, have it pick my time zone. It's already selected. And we can either create a Garmin account, create a guest profile, or we can sign in. I have a Garmin account, so I'm just going to sign in. Once email and password. Okay, so we're signed in. Right-handed. Units of measure, statute, all in feet and miles per hour. For me here in the U.S., that makes sense. And there, I, there I am. Device owner, signed in. So it's that easy to get turned on and signed in. Let's go to the settings and quick check for any software updates. Guessing most of us are going to have an initial software update and then there'll be periodic ones. Make sure you've got it hooked to a good Wi-Fi source. We'll go to settings. We'll scroll down. There it is. Software update. Check for updates. And I do have a current version. Once you've hooked to the internet, signed in, and done your updates, you're good to go. You won't need internet to use it after that, say on the course or even in your sim room. All right, let's get this plugged in and hit some shots with it. So we're gonna just use the touch screen, choose my name. We're gonna go into practice, distance range, target alignment. And for this, I'm just going to set down an alignment stick down my line. You could use a laser or whatever else. And you can see it wants us to set two balls in there. We can set one. We got one there. And I got one there. It's saying my alignment's actually two degrees to the right of what I thought it was. So save, start session. And we'll choose seven there. And then we'll plug the HDMI cord into the back. It's all set up. And right now I've got the screen here mirroring up onto my display. We can mirror or we can choose different options. But let's hit our first shot and see how the first shot with the R50 goes. Look at that response. There goes your ball. Beautiful. Just look at the level of detail it provides. We've got ball speed, launch angle, launch direction, spin rate. There's a ton more data points inside of it if we customize the screen. And this device is using three optical cameras. So it's given us highly accurate uh, spin and ball data. We'll be testing that out in future videos. And I've got to say, one of the coolest features of the R50, which I'm sure you've all heard everybody talk about, is this on-screen display. And the ability to go in here and customize the views to see 
really anything we want to see. If we want to see data fields on the left hand side, we have our data fields. Um, if we want to see the impact vision on the right, we can leave it just like that. If you want to go in, we can customize this to show the ball impact, which is your club face data. So we can see our club path, uh, our attack angle, launch angle, where our club face was pointed. On the left hand side, we can see the replay on the right hand side. Or we could switch that up and maybe we want to see the data fields on the right hand side. And on the left, we want to view our in game map. The display is just truly customizable and you really can put on whatever you want. And you can even output to the screen differently than what the data screen here shows. So I could actually separate these two displays. If you look, there's an external display setting. And instead of mirroring the display, I can flip that off and we can say, let's put the map on our external display. And then what I want on the R50, I know you can't see it right now, I'm going to have the data fields and I'll have the ball impact video on the right hand side. So now I've got ball impact and data on my right hand side and we've got the actual full range up on the screen. Very cool. Very, very cool. And I will get full into these in later videos. And the obvious big feature that sets this device apart is the internal sort of computer. You don't need a PC to play sim golf. You can hook it up to an external display like I have here, and we can play up to 43,000 courses on the Home Tee Hero, which is the Garmin software. Now, this doesn't mean we can use the PC for the third party apps, but let's jump into the Home Tee Hero. Maybe we play a course like, I don't know, Pebble Beach, pick a few holes and just demo what this looks like. We'll go to play, we'll go to Home Team Hero, we'll download Pebble Beach, we'll play it from the white, we'll turn putting on, green speeds 11, temperature 80, and we'll start playing. So there we have, we're playing Home Team Hero Pebble Beach on the Garmin R50. And we can just use the touch screen here in hole one. We'll, we'll put ourselves right there and get a ball, put it in there. We get the green light. Pulled it a little. Off to the left side, you can see that nice view that they give you here where it shows you kind of the ball flight. So now we've got 189 yards left. All right, we're in the rough here. It's gonna take some off of it and we've got a strong 20 mile an hour wind into us. It's a hybrid from 200. That wind is just killing it. Wow. Okay, so 38 yards to go here. Into the wind, 20 miles an hour. We're gonna have to hit this like it's 50, I think. Oh, look at that spin. <laughs> cool looking shot tracer there. And now we're putting, which we can go down here on the device and sort of aim ourselves out a little bit. I'm gonna aim out there. We got 16 feet. And it didn't break near what I thought. So a gimme. Plus one and the first with a bogey. We'll play one more hole. It's kind of fun. All right, hole two. 358. Let's just take a driver and try to hit one down there. We got wind into us here. Find the fairway. Gosh, that wind is the killer. All right, 229. 
with 162 mile an hour ball speed. So the wind is definitely hurting. We have 189 to go. I'm gonna hit three wood. All right, 189. <laughs> wow, 153 mile an hour ball speed carried at 156. And we could go in here and just turn this wind setting off. You can actually do it mid round. But what it's giving me is the live wind from where that course is at. So if I go into round settings and I go down to wind, I could actually change the wind down to a one to 10, let's say, and we could keep it going. So now I've got an eight mile an hour wind. Okay, 45 yards. Get up there. Hey. In the gimme circle. Birdie on the second hole. So there's a little bit of that home tee hero. You don't need a computer. I just have the device sitting here, wireless, um, no power cord even plugged into it. But future videos, I'm gonna break down everything in the home team hero, all the features, and show you what you get with it. And it's worth me quick noting, this does have access to third-party apps like GS Pro and Awesome Golf. Well, kind of GS Pro. Um, I'll get into a video showing everything about that. You guys won't even believe uh, the journey we took. Um, but subscribe down below, hit that like button. Make sure you don't miss the video on the third party apps coming out later this week. One important distinction with the third party apps you do need a PC to play awesome golf, you do need a PC to play GS Pro. So the I don't need a PC, Garmin does everything that works for the Garmin native software, but not if you're going to use third party apps like GS Pro and awesome golf. Another thing that's great about the Garmin R50 is the portability of this unit. We've got this beautiful case. It is, honestly, doesn't do it justice on video, but they've done a wonderful job designing the case. They've got this little handle, the back strap, the protective uh, filling for the screen. Everything is felt on the inside. And we can just take this unit, pick it up. We can go right into the case. And the portability is just truly unmatched. Whether we want to take this thing over to a friend's house, out to the range or just play at home, we've got the 10 inch screen built into it where we can play Garmin's home team hero anywhere we have our device. Well, that wraps up our first look at the Garmin Approach R50. I'll be making detailed videos on each feature I touched on today, how to set up a rundown of settings and features, a deep dive into the home team hero and exploring the driving range modes, third party applications such as GS Pro and Awesome Golf and more. So if you wanna be the first to know when those videos drop, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And just remember, when golf gives you triples, make more birdies.